welcome learners to this session of BA Honours English Part 1, Paper 2. The topic is Prologue to the Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer. The general prologue is the first part of Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales. The prologue appears like a portrait gallery where we see portraits of a large number of characters on display. And these portraits impress us with their graphic dresses, each one unique to itself and how an individual, a real human being, sits or stands before us in their variety. A large number of human beings who are both types and individuals are created by Chaucer and they possess universal qualities also. They are not puppets or woolen toys, but living and believable human beings. The vitality and the realistic quality of these characters are undisputable. To begin with, the narrator introduces the knight, the squire, and the yeoman, all of whom have certain distinctive personality traits representing the typical 14th century type of human beings. The knight represents the code of behavior prevailing in those days among members of this class of society. He is as modest, there is a spelling mistake I believe, a maiden and wears a doublet of coarse cloth. The squire has distinguished himself in battle as expected and composed songs and he can dance and draw and write as well. The yeoman is described as a true forester. but he also wears the medal of Christopher. From these characters were associated with the medieval code of chivalry and next is the prioress and the wife of Bath. Next is the hunting monk <coughs> who ignores the monastic discipline, neither labors with his hands nor pours over a book in the cluster and who loves a fat swan the best of any roast. Such indeed were a large majority of the monks of the period. The monk is a highly individualized character. He wears a pin made of wrought gold or intricate gold design in the shape of a love knot. He is fat and bald headed which shines. His eyes are very sharp and move around deceptively. The monk's sleeves are trimmed by the finest grey fur. The portrait of the friar is realistic and vivid. The friar misuses his authority to hear confessions and he sells absolutions. Like most of the friars of the time, he carries ornamental knives and pins to be given to pretty women. He associates with the rich folks of the times, keeping the beggars and the lepers at arm's length. He is capable of extracting money even from helpless people like the destitute widows and keep settling disputes of the worldly kind on love days, obtaining substantial fees for his pains. The friar wears a half cape of double worsted wood. The description of the characters, they dazzle like unique jewels. So that's all for this session. And in the next session, we'll deal with other characters portrayed by Chaucer. Thank you.